hello world i actually wanted to make more videos on onde bharat this weekend but unfortunately i'll not be in a position to do it the main reason being the ganesha festival vinayakar festival or it is called there's loud music right next, next to my home i've tried to cover all the windows and record but even then it is being audible on the voice recorder so i thought i'll only do this one since i had recorded some of the voice over before itself so i'll be sharing only this video for this weekend and hopefully after everything is settled down from next week i'll uh, put up more information videos on the vande bharat express now let us jump on to the vande bharat which will be inaugurated on 24th between tirunelveli and chennai egmore chennai madurai tirunelveli route if you go back in time three decades back this route was completely meter gauge it used to be a meter gauge oven so over the years due to project uni gauge the line was converted to broad gauge and now it is completely double and electrified if you look at the fastest train in the section it used to be the vaige super fast which was running between chennai and madurai palluvan also joined in and vaige used to rule until recently where few trains overtook it and in 2019 a tejas express was introduced between chennai and madurai which became the fastest on the line in fact if you look at the older schedule meter gauge vaige express was faster and aggressive compared to the broad gauge one for some time and now the entire chennai tirunelveli section will be covered by a much quicker train the latest sensation of indian railways vande bharat express now let me briefly give details about this train publicity has been done saying that the train is the fastest in india and it will travel at 160 unfortunately the tracks between chennai and tirunelveli are not fit for 160 so adanalu the train will do maximum of 110 only in fact there are plans to upgrade the section to 130 in future hopefully it will start with the chennai velupuram section pretty soon now the train will have a composition of eight coaches only with one being executive chair car and the other seven being normal ac chair car now let us look at the fare structure and the timings of the new vande bharat between chennai and tirunelveli the first run from chennai will be on 25th the train is getting inaugurated on 24th the rake will reach chennai in the night so it is not possible for the railways to get the rake back to tirunelveli to start it early in the morning so the first run will start at chennai on 25th let us give the station as ms chennai more ms is a station code and ten is a station code for tirunelveli junction so if you give search the first train visible to you is the vande bharat express whenever you go to irctc and search a train the fastest train will be shown as first well, the fastest train between chennai and tirunelveli happens to be this one right now the previous best was tambaram nagarkoil express it would used to cover within 9 hours 15 minutes so the fastest train is being shown to us let us look at the train schedule train departs chennai egmore at 2:50 pm that is 14:50 hours it stops at tambaram i'm not sure why but in this case it is saying it as non commercial lot boarding deboarding not allowed type tbm the code for tambaram and modify search it's actually allowing you to book which means tambaram is a commercial lot but then i believe there's a mistake here hopefully railway should rectify it if not it will end up in confusion and i believe tambaram should be given a halt which will actually reduce the crowd at egmore and it will also help people reach to the places they want pretty quickly now let me type ms again and search now let's look at the schedule completely before checking on the fares so the train leaves at 1450 hours that is 250 pm arrives tambaram at 1513 and leaves at 1515 halt of 2 minutes the next schedule halt is vilupuram junction 1639 1641 is the time tirchirappalli comes next dindakal madurai virudhunagar tirunelveli there is one catch here if you note the schedule of vaige vaige also has the same arrival and departure time as tirchirappalli i believe from 1st october vaige might be having some time change to not have this coincidence now let us look at the fare of the chennai egmore tirunelveli on the bharat AC chair car fare comes out to be thousand six ten, and in case if you want split up, you can click on I and watch it. The base fare is one one five five. Reservation charges forty. Super fast charges forty five. 
total gst on the above three is 62 rupees catering charges is optional if you don't want food on the train you can uncheck the food option and the 308 will not be added to your total the train has become already popular looking at it wednesday thursday friday saturday is all waitlist i believe this could be due to the weekend of october 2nd gandhi jayanti or people are already started to like this train there could be another reason which i'll talk about bit later now let us look at the executive chair car executive chair car comes out to be 3005 and the split up is here base fare is 2375 reservation charge is 60 super fast charge is 75 total gst comes out to be 126 catering charges again optional so the final fare is 3005 now let us look at the reverse direction of the train tirunelveli chennai the first run will be on 27th 26th is an holiday for vande bharat for regular checkup weekly checkup which will be done the train will not run on tuesdays so let us check for 27th again the fastest train is shown first so the vande bharat 20666 departs tirunelveli at 6 and arrives chennai at 1350 hours that is 150 pm and even in this case Tambaram is shown as non-commercial alt. I don't know why, but then if you check in the booking, you are able to do it. So 6 a.m. departure at Tirunel Valley, Virudhunagar is 7:15, Madurai is 7:55 hours, then to Kalle 8:42 hours, Tiruchirappalli 9:55 hours, Vilupuram 11:56 hours, Tambaram at 13:15 hours, and Chennai Agmur is at 13:50 hours. total duration of 7 hours 50 minutes let us look at the fares it is 1665 the fare is bit more on the tenvali chennai more section that is mainly due to the catering catering charges here is 364 and once again it is optional on the tenvali chennai more side the tickets are bit easily available next up on the 2nd of october i believe people after the weekend are coming back to chennai by this train to resume their work the next day and looking at the next week it's easily available now let us look at the fares of executive chair car the price has comes out to be 3055 base fare is 2375 reservation charge is super fast and total gst on that is 126 again catering charge is optional it is 419 i said there could be a reason why more wait list is seen on chennai tirunelveli section for this vande bharat now if you look at the fastest train connection in the afternoon vaige was the only option it used to depart at 1350 hours and reach madurai at 2115 hours a duration of 7 hours 25 minutes and this vande bharat does the same distance in 5 hours 50 minutes and it also departs at 1450 hours that is 1 hour after the departure time of vaige and reaches madurai before the vaige express 2040 hours in fact because of the schedule the vande bharat will be overtaking vaige and i believe this could be one of the major reasons why there is good booking on the chennai tirunelveli run in fact it is the same on the reverse as well in the reverse schedule too the vande bharat will be overtaking vaige express maybe from october 1st we could see a change if not this will be a regular scene happening almost daily except on tuesday i just decided to do a quick comparison between the rail and the road and uh, vb that is vande bharat comfortably wins when it comes to time duration because the fastest bus i can see is around 9 hours 40 minutes they could be faster but then i'm taking data only from this red bus so i could be wrong as well and uh, if you want to travel in the day time there's currently only one option which departs at 10:20 So I'm pretty sure this VB will definitely become popular as the days move on. Do let me know in the comments. And do you feel this train is worth taking between Chennai and Tirunel Valley or the reverse direction, Tirunel Valley to Chennai? One day, depending on the comment, let's tell me. Can you prepare for it? Do let me know if you want to know more details on the VBs running down south. And yes, I'll be mostly covering. information videos based on south india because i'm from this place and i know most of the things in railways when it comes to other places like the north east and west i don't have much knowledge on those routes so i will request you to ask me about trains from the south hope you all enjoyed this video and found it informative see you soon